a second to their lap times, reduced them by, so they talked about coming down. At the final, they left it in Kyle's hands. Driver, you make the decision. He says, I'm staying out. Three wide here with two laps to go. David Reagan trying to hold on in front of Leffler and Earnhardt Jr. The junior had stayed in front of the leader uh, before the last caution and got his lap back. He went in and got tires, trying to work his way back uh, to get near the top five here. Yeah, these guys talking, they might have could, they probably needed four tires and about 30 horsepower if they were going to deal with Kyle Busch. Now, I think they could have got the tires and fuel, but they weren't going to be able to get the horsepower here. White flag waving to Kyle Busch, who's had all kinds of issues here in the 2008 NASCAR Nationwide Series season. He spun while leaving in Nashville. He cut a tire. He broke a shock mount. He's been involved in an accident. He has not gone to victory lane in 2008. He is a half a lap away from changing that. Here he comes. Bush gets his first win in 2008 in dominant fashion at Texas. Can't keep a good man down. Not, 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 not forever. Great effort by Kyle and the entire crew. Let's head down where Jamie Little is caught up with Jason Rackley. Well, it's their third try together, and Jason, you and Kyle get it done. What was the difference today to finally end with the W? Uh, just patience, you know. It, typically, we're starting up front, and I think the rain out actually helped us, you know, because uh, it just slowed everything down, and we just, we've just we had great cars. These guys, nobody deserves to win more than this team right here. Congratulations. Thank you. I'll let you get up and celebrate. Guys. 22-year-old Kyle Busch takes the victory, his first of 2008. It's his first win at Texas. And, folks, he started back in 31st position. And these fans are going to appreciate what he did as you hear him on their feet cheering for this youngster's first victory of the year. Kyle Busch takes the win over Jeff Burton, Clint Boyer, Bobby Labonte, and Jamie McMurray, the top five. When we come back, we'll visit with Kyle in Victory Lane. One word for Kyle Busch today. Finally. <laughs> Finally, he gets the checkered flag, does the victory burnouts, and celebrates a win this season in the NASCAR Nationwide Series. Kyle with his 12th Nationwide Series victory. And he will take that checkered flag to victory lane where he will collect a trophy, probably a little shower, and a few other things from his teammate. Uh, and an awful lot of backslaps. Remember, his sponsor both today and tomorrow are Dallas-based companies. Dave? Yeah, Alan, and that means uh, the parties may be just that much sweeter around the Dallas-Fort Worth area today. A lot of fives going out to his crew here. And Kyle, this makes an even dozen for the times that you visited Victory Lane in the Nationwide Series, but we got to believe this one means just a little bit more. <laughs> you know why this one means so much? Is, uh, uh, I finished second here twice, I believe, before my first year here, and then, uh, you know, again, I don't remember when, but uh, I never won here. Obviously, I proved that because I don't know where Victory Lane is. I got lost on my way here, so this feels so good. This place is just so hard to win at. And for me, it's just, um, you know, extra special to bring DLP their first NASCAR victory and, you know, to bring Toyota here to Victory Lane in Texas. And uh, all these guys, I mean, they work so, so hard on these things, and I've torn a couple of them up. And, you know, it's just, uh, <laughs> yeah, I also want to thank my fans for sticking with me. You know, it's been a tough time in this nationwide series, but finally we're able to get somewhere here today. We won one, and now if we can just keep it going like this, that'd be great. Caution almost killed you again. How tough was that to stay out in that last one? It was tough because uh, I just wasn't sure why, you know, why we wanted to come in and hit. But um, I knew four tires were going to be fast, but I didn't know if I could get back through traffic. You know, this place is pretty aero-sensitive. Always has been from the beginning, still is. But, um, you know, for us, it was a late, late move there. Burton's beat me a few times on it. Luckily, he didn't fake me too bad today. And I was able to get back out, and uh, we were able to prevail and win this thing. So extra special for these guys at Joe Gibbs Racing, everybody back at the shop. All the guys in the machine shop, they never get thanked, you know. They wanted me to thank them, and uh, Fab Shop, Chassis Shop, Engine Shop, Engine was great today, so uh, really, really cool to be here. Can they make these pins in the Fab Shop? 
They can. They can make them look like whatever you want, man. Smile with Kyle in victory lane here in Texas, guys. Kyle Busch led 126 of 200 laps today. Had a little bit of drama late, but it was the good kind for him today, unlike the misfortunes he suffered so far this season. We have a ton more post-race coverage to come from Texas. Hope you'll stay with us. We're coming right back.